On Oblivion by Morian Zanas. It is improper, however customary, to refer to the denizens of the dimension of oblivion as demons. This practice probably dates to the Elysian doctrines of the first era prophet Maruk, which, rather amusingly, forbade traffic with daemons, and then neglected to explain what daemons were. It is most probable that daemon is a misspelling or etymological rendition of daedra, the old elven word for those strange powerful creatures of uncertain motivation who hail from the dimension of oblivion. Daedra is actually the plural form, the singular is daedroth. In a later tract by King Hale the Pious of Skyrim, almost a thousand years after the publication of the original doctrines, the evil machinations of his political enemies are compared to the wickedness of the demons of oblivion, their depravity equals that of sanguine itself, they are as cruel as Boethia, calculating as Molag Baal, and mad as Sheagorath. Hale the Pious thus long-windedly introduced four of the Daedra lords to written record. But the written record is not, after all, the best way to research oblivion and the Daedra who inhabit it. Those who traffic with daemons seldom wish it to be matter of public account. Nevertheless, scattered throughout the literature of the first era are diaries, journals, notices for witch burnings, and guides for Daedra slayers. These I have used as my primary source material. They are at least as trustworthy as the Daedra lords I have actually summoned and spoken with at length. Apparently, Oblivion is a place composed of many lands, thus the many names for which Oblivion is synonymous. Cold Harbor, Quagmire, Moonshadow, etc. It may be correctly supposed that each land of Oblivion is ruled over by one prince. The Daedra princes whose names appear over and over in ancient records, though this is not an infallible test of their authenticity or explicit existence to be sure, are the aforementioned Sanguine, Boethia, Molag Baal, and Sheagorath, and in addition, Azura, Mephala, Clavicus Vile, Vermina, Malakath, Hermaeus Mora, Nemira, Jigalag, Nocturnal, Merun's Dagon, and Periite. From my experience, Daedra are a very mixed lot. It is almost impossible to categorize them as a whole except for their immense power and penchant for extremism. Be that as it may, I have here attempted to do so in a few cases purely for the sake of scholastic expediency. Merun's Dagon, Molag Baal, Periite, Boethia, and Vermina are among the most consistently demonic of the Daedra, in the sense that their spheres seem to be destructive in nature. The other Daedra can, of course, be equally dangerous, but seldom purely for the sake of destruction as these five can. Nor are these previous five identical in their destructiveness. Merun's Dagon seems to prefer natural disasters, earthquakes and volcanoes, preventing his anger. Molag Baal elects the employment of other Daedra, and Boethia inspires the arms of mortal warriors. Periite's sphere seems to be pestilence and Vermina's torture. In preparation for the next installment in this series, I'll be investigating two matters that have intrigued me since I began my career as a Daedra researcher. The first is one particular Daedra, referred to in multiple articles of Incunabula as Hersin. Hersin has been called the Huntsman of the Princes and the Father of Man Beasts, but I have yet to find anyone who can summon him. The other and perhaps more doubtful goal I have is to find a practical means for mortal men to pass through to oblivion. It has always been my philosophy that we need only fear that which we do not understand, and with that thought in mind, I ever pursue my objective.